everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be solving another Physics 7C practice problem called Spherical Mirrors and Images, Magnification Through Lenses. Remember, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and leave a like. Your support helps a lot and we really appreciate the feedback. Okay, here's the problem. Feel free to pause the video to copy the problem so that it's easy for you to follow along. We have two lenses one with a focal length of negative 10 centimeters and one with a focal length of plus 10 centimeters. And they are placed 24 centimeters apart, as in the picture below. An object is placed in an unknown distance D in front of lens one. And as a result, you see a real image located 15 centimeters behind lens two. Note that the picture is not necessarily drawn to scale. What we wanna find is the distance D of the object from lens one and what is the total magnification for this two lens system? So if we look at these two lenses, we know that we can solve um, using a couple of problems or a couple of pieces. Since they give us the focal length, that's a big clue that we want to use the focal length equation. One over F equals one over the object plus one over the image. So this is the focal length distance. This is the distance the object is and this is the distance the image is. So if we take a look at this, um, we're given that the focal length of the second lens is 10 centimeters. So, and we're also given the image distance from the second lens is 15 centimeters. So we can actually use those two pieces to solve the object distance. So let's see if we can do that. The focal length of object two, or um, I'm sorry, of lens two, is 1 over 10 centimeters. Okay, we're solving for the object, so let's go ahead and subtract the image over. The image um, is a distance of 15 centimeters. And remember, since this is upside down, it's a real image because a virtual image would be right side up. A real image is upside down and the rays are actually hitting there. So since it's upside down, we use the positive sign for the focal length equation. So this equals one over the object distance. So if we do some math here, we get the object distance is 15 centimeters. I'm sorry, 30 centimeters. <laughs> Just plug it into a calculator, we'll get it. Um, so this is the object of the second lens. So for it to be the object of the second lens, um, we must um, have an image of the first lens. So we get an image from the first lens, which then becomes the object of the second lens. Um, if this is 30 centimeters away, that means our object two, I'll call this, or image one is going to be somewhere over here. In fact, it'll be six centimeters somewhere over here. Object two, which is the image of one. So if that's the case, our distance is 24 centimeters minus 30 centimeters equals negative six centimeters. Okay, so that is actually our image distance that we need. All right, so that's our image distance for lens one, which is the object distance for lens two. So let's take a look at this. So we wanna do this again, but for F1. So one over 10 centimeters but there's a minus sign, equals one over the object minus one over six centimeters. Okay? So we solve for O, the object, the original object distance, which equals 15 centimeters. And that is just the distance D that we are looking for. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at this again. We have to work backwards, so if we ignore this first lens and just say lens two, lens two has a focal length of 10 centimeters, 
using this focal equation, we play that, plug that in. We also know the final image has an image distance of 15 centimeters. And we know it's real because it's inverted. So we plug those two into our focal equation and we get the object distance of 30 centimeters. But that's the object distance of the object projecting into lens two. So for that to be the case, if we ignore lens two, object two is just gonna be the image of object one. So you can imagine object one projects light onto this lens, creating object two, which then projects light onto lens two, okay? All right, so when we plug this in to our equation here, um, it's a virtual image. I'm sorry, it's a real image, but it is a negative six centimeter image. So we plug that in um, and plug in the focal length of negative one over 10, of negative 10 centimeters, and you put it as one over 10, and then solve for our object distance, and we get 15 centimeters. Part B says, what is our total magnification of the two lens system? So we want to use the fact that magnification is multiplicative. That is, the net magnification is the magnification of one times the magnification of two. And if we had more lenses, we would do it by times three and by times four. So we want to use the equations for magnification, which is negative image distance over object distance. And we want to do this for one and two. This is a multiplying sign, just so you know. So for M1, our image distance, we got to be negative six, and our object distance was 30 centimeters. Okay? I'm sorry, 15, right there, 15 centimeters. So we have negative six over 15. For M2, we got our, um, we were given this 15 centimeters for the image distance, um, which is negative because we have a negative sign See, this is where simple mistakes. We have a negative sign that's already in there. So when I plugged in negative six centimeters, this becomes a positive. For M2, our 15 centimeters is positive, so that becomes negative. And our object distance we got from solving this, which object distance two was 30 centimeters. So when we multiply these, our net magnification is just, 6 over 15 times negative 15 over 30, which is 6 over 30, which gives us a negative 1 fifth. So that's our net magnification for the system. And it's negative um, because it is flipped up, it's inverted already. So inverted tells us that it should be negative. And um, we have our answer. There we go. That is the end of our problem. If this was helpful, please leave a like, and I will see you in the next 7C practice problem video. Bye, everyone.